Do you want to make your own Roblox game but you don't know how to code? And you're not sure where to get started? Well, this Roblox game actually teaches you. And there is no experience needed to actually begin. Not only does this game teach you how to make your own Roblox games, it's also a pet simulator game. Where you can go and collect a bunch of different pets. And you can use all of the advice shared in this video and from this game to find out how to code your own games and actually start making free Robux from it. So let's dive into how this game actually works. The game starts off by trying to teach you how to code. And there's multiple different portals which will go and train you different things to learn in coding. And you can use this coding that you learn to help develop your own games and also have some fun. So to play this little mini game that teaches you how to code, you just press a couple of the buttons and drag all of these things around. After each level you complete, you get to go and do a new one. And I'm even going to teach you how to make your own Roblox obby, which all of you are also going to be able to go and play, and you'll be able to go and invite your friends to go and join your games as well. For this to work, I simply type out the code and then press the play button, and then my pet, which is a potato, will go and hit all of the bad stuff. Which brings me to the next level. Avoid the toxic river and hit three targets. Way to go, slimes ahead, get ready. In this scenario, we need to code our character to hit the slime. Press run and then my potato will go round and demolish all of the evil slimes. I am currently teaching my potato to literally mine diamonds and then the little dude is gonna go and destroy this tree for me. So not only are you actually learning how to figure out how coding actually works for the basics, it's also actually fun. There's a shop where you can go and purchase different pets. For example, I'm gonna go and buy all of them because I, um, I can. I don't know why. I may as well. I'm gonna buy all of the expensive ones. So let's purchase all of them because why not? Each pet has unique stats that you can use in battle. For example, this is Pony Cake which has different stats to my pet potato. Some of these pets are purchased with bits, which you get by completing quests, fighting slimes, or selling resources. They can level up and unlock new powerful abilities. So, in this game, you can actually have your own creative mode. So let's actually go and show you how to make your own game. There's this really fun portal around the corner. And then we're gonna press the make button and press new world. And right away, we are put inside of an obby. This right here is a base template for an obby that you can go and adjust. So, this game will actually teach you how to go and make your own obby, which is going to be useful if you want to go and make one on the Roblox platform. So this game literally educates you into how you can make your own obby, which is a popular theme on Roblox. There are literally some obby games that generate hundreds of thousands of Robux completely for free to people who make them. So right here, what we have is a creative mode, where pretty similar to how Roblox Studio works, which is how game developers actually go and make their own Roblox games, you can go and spawn in different things for the obby. So say we want a slime that will go and attack me. I simply select it, then press this button to go and move where I want the slime to be. Say I want the slime to be on this block, then I simply place it there and then press the play button and we now have a working obby where it says I have to get to the top. So we actually have these little platforms that will go and move. The game teaches you so many different things that you can actually go and do. Obviously we're going to avoid the slime or we'd get oofed and oh, all right. This might actually be a difficult jump to be fair. Then I got to jump here and here. Okay, let's go. All right, I'm going to be the champion of my own obby. It says get to the top and we have to do exactly that because that's kind of how the obby works. So let's climb up onto the top and then show you how you can go and make this harder as obviously this was a very easy obby. Oh, I say that as I get stuck. This was a very easy obby, right? And then we are at the top and we are the champion of the obby. So when you go and start placing things, you can go and rescale them, which allows you to go and make them bigger or smaller or whatever you like. For example, let's go and build a brick wall. Simply go and place a platform, then select the color, and then you can select what type of texture you want it to be. 
Now, if you're extremely evil, you could select something such as force field. The block is still there, but it's invisible. And when you walk into it, it's just like an invisible glass wall, which is kind of fun if you want to troll and trap your friends. But say we want to build a small house. This is the exact same way that a game developer would go and do this for their Roblox game. We simply scale it, make sure it's the right pattern, then hit the copy and paste button, which is this one and this one. And now we have an exact replica of it, so we can start going and actually building my tiny little house right here. There's even a rotation tool which allows you to go and rotate the walls around, because obviously if we are building a house then we need to have four sides to the wall. If not then that would be a pretty bad house design. So there we go, we now have some nice walls for my house, and yes, you can actually fly in case you've ever wanted to know what it feels like to fly inside of Roblox. Well, uh, now you know exactly what you need to do. And of course, you can go and code your own game as well. I mean, that is the whole concept behind this game is allowing you to go and code stuff. Now, the game also gives you hints on what you should go and use to go and code your own games, such as introducing a score, a timer, or different scales. Yeah, I'm gonna try out player scale is 10 and see what that does. Okay, so I actually did the coding wrong, and there's a button that says AI help, and the AI goes and costs you sparks, and it will literally tell you what you need to do to make sure that you fix it. It turns out what I was missing was a capital letter. Once you finish making your game, simply press the save button and it will go and give you a copy and paste link for anyone to go and join. You literally get this link, then copy and paste it and it will take you directly into the game, such as this is my alt account and we can now go and play the obby instantly. Like you don't have to do anything, you can just play instantly with your friends. And as you can see, I failed the obby because, yeah, I'm just not good at obbies. But if you were able to win, then that's great. You can find other popular games that people have actually made inside of this editor, such as Find Potatoes. Where in this game, I assume I meant to find the potato to open the door. That's right, that is the actual game, Find the Potato, the door opens. Makes sense? Okay, let's find the potato. There's a little mouse that's chasing me, and if the mouse touches, touches me, then I lose. I've got to get this potato before the mouse gets me and escape to the next room. So you can come up with some pretty creative game ideas in this. Okay, so find the potato. The potato is actually right behind where the mouse is. So, oh, he's a bit quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, I'm not sure I can outrun him. Oh no, he's gonna catch me. I found the potato. Um, is that a golem? Oh no, I'm so close. Please, please, please. Let's go. All right, where is the potato? Let's try and find it first. Okay, so the potato is here. So the person who made this game actually made it completely through code combats. I'm pretty sure these slimes are gonna try and attack me, so let's just try and avoid the slime at all costs. That one definitely seems faster than it used to be. Okay, oh no, oh, I've been got. Yeah, that's what happens when you get got. And now we are at the beginning. I was so close to winning. The potato pet that I've been using is actually an exclusive pet. And it's given out when 10,000 players link their Code Combat and Roblox accounts. The Code Combat website is designed to actually teach you how to make games that are outside of Roblox. But they recently made this Roblox game that I highly recommend you go and check out. And the link's in the description for you to play. You need to see this $1 versus $100,000 Adopt Me House. Click here right now to watch the video. I recommend you go and watch it next.